Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Just the first thing that I'm going to say is I apologize for the audio. I'm actually outside because I can no longer film inside my house. There is too much noise, too many interruptions. So, yes, I have to be outside with the noise of the AC units and the cars and all the other wonderful things. Anyways, uh, on today's uh, video, we're going to discuss an issue with an AMD graphics card. Okay, so the issue is when you play at 144 hertz on a, in a 2K monitor with an RX 580, it causes black screens while playing video games. So this causes the monitor to flicker on and off repeatedly and it is pretty much impossible to play this way because it's gonna flicker off and on when in the middle of a firefight and you're gonna die. So the issue doesn't automatically happen at the beginning of a game. You can play for maybe five, ten minutes and it may not happen, but then once it starts happening, it will continue to happen and it gets worse than after. So a couple of things that we tried to fix the solution is we tried different HDMI cables. I know that only, I think, HDMI 1.4 or higher or can handle 144 hertz at 2K. So we tried one cable, it didn't work. Second cable, it didn't work. Third cable, didn't work. The highest I could get it to run perfectly fine was at 75 hertz. So I figured, okay, maybe I don't have the correct cable. So I went to Best Buy and bought a display cable. Uh, sadly enough, I could only get the display cable to run at 85 hertz properly without it uh, crashing or without it uh, flickering again on and off. The monitor uh, is what I'm talking about. So I figured, okay, maybe I got a bad cable, so I returned it. But then, ah! <laughs> um, I looked up a problem in Google and found a lot of forums with people having the same exact issue or something similar to it. And somebody mentioned uh, something about maybe messing with Wattman, uh, the settings on there. So I ended up messing with that thing for like maybe two hours. Uh, going up and down on the voltage going blah 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 so here's the things that I changed um, that uh, worked for us so that way it might work for you it might differ from the graphics card that you have I don't know uh, so we think we changed the power limit to plus 50% so we maximized the power limit on the graphics card so it was able to uh, utilize all that it needed uh, we also uh, lowered the frequency by 9.5%. I know this sounds dumb, but it causes the graphics card to use less wattage, causes it to run at a lower um, frequency. Yes, you're technically going to take a performance uh, hit. Um, wow, it's windy out here. Uh, but it, it actually ended up run, making the, the graphics card run from 160 watts down to 129 watts. And... We also increased the RPM on the fans so they could go up to 100% at a lower uh, temperature. So this caused us to run at around 65 at the highest 70 degrees Celsius and it caused us to go ahead and go to 144 hertz um, at 2K with no issues, no flicker. And we, just to test it out, we ended up playing the same game, PUBG. Uh, we played for about 60 minutes, no black screen. We ran Insurgency Sandstorm for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes, no black screen, and we played uh, Warframe for about 30 minutes with no black screen. The average frame loss for this, and now I know that's what you guys are worried about, the average frame loss uh, due to the 9.5% uh, decrease in frequency was at the max five frames. So we went from two to five frames uh, frame loss, and it wasn't that bad, honestly. I will take that over not being able to play at all. Uh, one thing that we didn't try, which could have been a possible solution, maybe we had a bad PSU, power supply. Uh, so maybe a, changing the power supply would have helped the wattage, would have helped the power uh, exchange between the graphics card and the power supply, and it might have fixed the, 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 the issue, but I did not have another power supply on hand to test this thing out. So underclocking it in this case helped out. Yes, we lost some, a little bit of uh, performance there, but it helped us to improve the fact that we could play with no flicker at 144 hertz monitor um, on a 2k monitor so again this is what worked for us to get that graphics card running perfectly fine i thought it was a cable issue i thought it was a display issue i thought it was something else i thought the monitor was bad i actually went out got a completely different power supply for the monitor and i thought i was about to go get another monitor actually and finally the wattman thing helped us 
Now remember to always do the save your profile after changing the settings and make sure that you activate the profile every time you log into your computer before you play any games or else it will start flickering again. If this video helped you guys, please make sure you subscribe, you like the video and share it. It might help others out there. Remember, play with Wattman. Our settings may not help you, but it could. we only did the test with the XFX uh, RX 580, so it could be different with other RX 580s. Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed it, please like and share, like I said before, and I'll see you guys on the next one, and I hope that I was helpful today. By the way, am I happy being outside? I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like 99 degrees out here. It's 99 degrees. We're one degree from 100. I don't want to be outside. Yeah.